situation to be in at home, no doctor, and you start having contractions, not to mention Buffalo is having one of the most historic blizzards ever. Tonight, a Buffalo woman and her baby are safe and well, and Danielle Church shows us it is all thanks to the kindness of three doctors. Danielle, none of them were the actual OBGYN in this. Yeah, no, Kate, they weren't, which it makes it even more interesting. But uh, Mumina Musa went into labor on Friday morning when that blizzard started. And like many of us or many of you at home, she was stuck there as well. So her sister-in-law, Halima Muhammad, actually called for an ambulance three times. 911 operators told her to call them back when she could see the baby's head and they'd walk her through the process to which she said that's not going to happen and she went with plan B. Halima is still in the process of getting her nursing degree from NCCC, but she works at Jericho Road Community Health Center. She reached out to colleagues Dr. Myron Glick and Dr. Elizabeth Harding. Dr. Harding stopped getting snow out of her house to walk over to Mumina's house nearby, and Dr. Glick put out a call to all of his residents to see if anyone could anyone else could get there safely. Dr. Tatum Birdo and Dr. Anthony Birdo also went over. Mamina was in labor for 36 hours. Then at 1.36 in the afternoon on Christmas Day, Alea Adam came into the world weighing six pounds and 15 ounces. Yeah, it was worth it, but I'm not doing it again. Uh, <laughs> that's what she says? <laughs> what happened was that a community of people looked out for one another, and that's why nobody got hurt. Of all the houses that lost power on the block, Mamina's was one of the few that never went out. It's really good those doctors were there too because Mamina did have some complications during her pregnancy and after, but the National Guard did arrive just in time afterwards. And now Mamina tells me that they are all those doctors are definitely invited to future birthday parties. Kate? What a little sweetheart. Danielle, thank you so much.